One of the key parts of the DNA here at LDUTC is that we work with industry. And what that means is that we're preparing the kids for the real world, okay? This is, this is not an abstract institution. This is about concrete skills for, for the real world. And possibly the best example of that that I can think about is that uh, we taught the children to program robots like now and uh, my friend here, Pepper. Um, uh, and we specifically set them a task uh, to see if they could get the now robots to ski, but we didn't just do it in the classroom, uh, we sent them to the Italian Alps. I discovered that uh, the ICE ran a ski trip each year, and this ski trip um, in the evenings they did some sort of educational engineering exercise. Having given us a robot to promote our school, I thought this could be an opportunity to support the ICE with this, with this venture. The students before the ski trip split up into groups of four and five, and their task was to create the skis that Neo was going to ski on. The atmosphere in the workshops when they were creating the skis and the harnesses to hold the skis onto the robots was something quite different, something quite special. You could see their enthusiasm and their interest um, developing and expanding. It can hear me what I'm saying. It looks at whoever's speaking or whoever it sees using the head and mouth camera. We connect the robot to the computer. We put the robot in a position. It will come up on the computer and we can save it as an actual position. For the front, we've got a point that rounds off based on what the average ski would look like. We used a 3D printer to print out the the first. Like with other robots, where they have, it will be designed only to ski. This robot is actually supposed to be like a human, so nice. if it can ski, humans can see. Yeah. We'll be able to do it, right? It's early stages in the development of the software. And that's why they're getting people like us to start kind of it using it, so exactly. then we can improve it in the future. So combine this really brilliant ski trip with the idea of getting robots to ski. Uh, it's quite an interesting problem. It's a unique problem. It's a problem that nobody else in the world, I don't believe, will ever have, have tried to tackle. Trump, it is much colder than London here, but I am enjoying practicing my Italian and cross-country skiing. Tune in later this week to see me and my friends attempt to ski. The IC has a remit to promote the art and science of civil engineering to, to children. So we have a big educational programme. These children, even if they don't go into civil engineering, they'll go away from these trips having had fun doing some engineering with the institution of civil engineers. That sticks in their head and that sends a really, really good message. There's a massive shortage of engineers. How do you get kids to be engineers? You get them interested in projects like this, you bring them to places like this and you get them to do amazing things. It's fantastic. We were looking online for like cross-country skiers, just generally yeah. how they ski. We got the engineering part down, but yeah. the programming, that took ages. We've put so much time and effort into like programming and the actual engineering part of it, and to finally see the robot ski is a great feeling. The engineering, the manufacturing of these skis and the bindings are, um, are superb um, and they've all got different ideas of how they've done that. I've never seen like a school that programs a robot and makes it ski. It's really interesting. This is a school week. I think they've learned an awful lot. Uh, some of them have talked about the pressure that they experience, some of them have talked about how they've learned computer programming and they've never learned computer programming before. And now, because of the pressure of having to get their robot to do something, they can program computers. The skills that the students have come back with are not only the engineering skills, not only the chance that they've had a go at skiing, but the communication skills, their teamwork, their collaboration, together, makes them stronger candidates for employment when they leave our school. This ski trip was an excellent collaboration between the ICE and LDE UTC, using the latest technology in a wonderful environment where the students didn't only learn, but they had fun whilst doing it. 
With the coming of AI, there's going to be something that's very important, and it's the quintessential human ability to think creatively, to innovate ourselves out of the problems that face us. The sorts of problems that are going to define the human race in the future, and they're the very stuff of what we do here at the LDE UTC. We solve problems. We use STEM subjects and all kinds of other subjects to prepare uh, and engineer the future.